Hey, what up, you guys? It's Sassy Sassy here back with another video. I hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. It is currently April 24th, 2024. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to some Fruity Beauty related content. So, I'm going to be reacting to three videos. The first one being a video from Sala and Chantal's couples channel titled Sala and Chantel Season 3 Coming Soon. And then the second one being from Chantel's channel, Out of Shape at the Upper Canada Bird Sanctuary Canada Vlog. And then lastly, I'm going to react to her video, Lunch and Therapy Canada Vlog. So, before getting into the first video, I just want to say that I am disgusted by the fact that Mr. Poopy, aka salad is weaseling his way back into the community like the community onto the channel i don't want to see his face anymore after all the disgusting shit that he said to kybella like he is not a character that we need in the chantopolis like seriously chantel just no like this isn't going to go the way you think it's going to go. There are a lot of people that are jumping ship already saying, you know what? She's going back to Kuwait. Salad's coming back on the channel. Like, I'm out. And I don't blame them. But you know what? I'm one of those people that is willing to stick it out and be here for the mess. I I'm here till the end, okay? I, I want to see how this ends. So without further ado, folks, let's get to. Let's see the Salad and Chantel season three trailer season three is gonna be lit season oh god three is gonna be it season three is gonna be shit no pun intended Sala Syrian in Kuwait oh my god Chantel, Canadian in Kuwait. Oh my god. Hi. Assalamu alaikum. Married couple does stuff. Like what? Bitch, like what? What's gonna be doing, Chantel, other than sitting in the fart box in the sky and stuffing your face because it's too hot to go anywhere, because you're too fat to be able to walk anywhere. You're just gonna sit there and gain weight and lose a foot because of your super diet like type 2 diabetes but that's how it's gonna go Chantel it is what it is and I love that for you I really do because it's everything you deserve in life <laughs> new arc oh wow you guys a new arc what a new arc of the same stuff. So really, is it really a new arc? <laughs> well, obviously, if they're from the past seasons, Chantel, like, she really thinks we're that dumb, but we don't understand this is repurposed content. the doom buggies all i can hear is peanut gallery nodding off the do the doom buggy video <laughs> right salad and chantelle on a freaking doom buggy i love it I'm at like a wealthy mall. Look at the Burberry that I can't afford. But you know, I won't even go into the store because I know I can't afford it. But I'm shopping for 
you know, pretend that I can, that I'm just like this wealthy Canadian, with my wealthy husband, girl. Like, seriously, really? That makes me want to go to this uh, place in my city called Easton. And it's like this outside mall complex of all these really expensive restaurants and stores. Um, I used to live close to Easton. And I still actually visit Easton from time to time. Because um, there are certain places that I go for certain things that um, are in Easton. And I like to go down there during the holiday season because they have, like, horse-drawn carriages. They have roasted chestnuts and stuff. They have carolers and stuff like that. They have events down there and that you can go to for free and stuff like that. Like, there's a summer concerts that you can that you can um, uh, watch for free. I mean, it's, a, it's really awesome. Um, so it's like I could go down there and, like, do a video and sit and – vlog video whatever and act like i'm like this wealthy person that like goes that lives in this you know area because like that's like the vibe that she's trying to give like look you guys i'm in like one of the richest countries in the world living it up you guys but i'm i'm broke as all hell oh. How pathetic, Chantal, like seriously. What is with the music? Oh, yes, you look so cute, Chantal, with your how many freaking make filters and and um pounds of god awful makeup like oh my god hello guys long time no see i hope you are all doing well oh my god he's so uh, go away stay away sala we all could you come back Knowing that we know about your little kink, the great fantasist wants to defecate on a bike. Like, I can't. Why? Why, Sala? Why? <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Well, I just want to say that how excited I am doing videos again with my beautiful wife, Chantal. There are still so many things we will do together and places to visit and explore, so stay tuned. Oh, I think Julia is excited too. Hi, Julia. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. We are... Back with another season of Couples Vlogs on the Salah and Chantal channel. The link to our Couples channel is always in the description, so please subscribe so you don't miss when our Season 3 premiere comes out. So I'm excited because despite some hurdles we had to overcome together, we are stronger than ever and ready to live in- By hurdles, you mean you being too fat to live in Kuwait because you have no health insurance and the fact that your husband did on you. And it turns out your husband is a great fantasist who likes to shit on people and hates Western white women. Wants to uh, defecate on religious texts. But, you know, whatever. An exciting life together and to take you all along on some of our adventures. As Salah said, there are still many things for us to show you. We both have the same dream. To travel more and share our adventures. We loved going to Thailand together. There is something about traveling and experiencing other cultures that has the ability to you were in the hotel room half the time. It was raining half the time. Like, what are you even talking about? To change you, if you take it all in, you learn things, you appreciate life from a whole new perspective. And going through all that with someone special whom you love is the best thing in the world. And we're not a perfect couple. Like I said, we had some hurdles, but we are moving on. So our goal is to travel and see more of the world and grow together as individuals and also as a couple. I have 
some tough health hurdles I need to overcome myself in order. Oh my god, he looked so uncomfortable. He's like, it's like a a a, a, a grandma or something. You know what I mean? Like with his mother. <laughs> She's like, oh, he's like, oh god, do I really have to do this? Like, oh, here, honey. I'm just gonna act like you don't smell like blue cheese and fart. Like, order <laughs> to fully enjoy traveling, though. So I will be working hard at a glow up over on my Foodie Beauty channel. Try, try, try again. But don't you worry. There are many things to show you still, and there will be new content as well. So you can expect us back in May of this year with a fresh new season of Salah and Chantel. And we really hope you enjoy our vlogs. So Salah and I both had a long discussion where we reflected back on what we learned about making couples videos and traveling as a couple. I am speaking for both of us, yes, but we both agree that we learned some valuable insights. So here are a couple of those things. Forget that moment, okay? When Chantel's sitting there in the restaurant, in, Th in Thailand, in the restaurant, alone, eating, and then behind her, there's that woman filming her, not believing that she, she there's a, a someone so big. Like, remember that? She was, like, literally, that woman was literally filming Chantel, like, with a smile on her face. One, we make a great team. Like, oh my god, I can't believe this. Are you seeing this? Like, I have to film this. Like, this person is literally looks ridiculous. We both are different people, but we contribute well to the life we share. And this made our trip to time. How do you, aside from financially, how do you contribute? I literally don't get Thailand it. so much smoother and easygoing. Salah is just so calm and good with directions and at handling most things that would give me anxiety. I, on the other hand, I'm very loving and affectionate and reassuring and take care of planning the activities. Stop in that thing. I mean, she's like, can barely fit in there. She says she has to lean back. Oh my God. Okay. This is so ridiculous. We all know during this time, all the while you're stuck in that hotel room, he's out there getting his rocks off, you know with uh prostitutes and stuff you know and i do this also because as a big woman i like to make sure i have some control over knowing watching um explicit content on the tv where we're going and to ensure it is okay for someone my size but i am also a fun person to be with despite me having some physical limitations i still push myself and as a result boy from the mom the mom and the boy and his mom him sitting there walking with a fan like here honey. i will find you wife while you walk you need to walk you need to lose weight i need to get you healthy so i can go to canada do not die on me chantelle <laughs> well we did many things and you can watch all of those videos on this channel so each of us contributes well to our little team and it makes life easier and more enjoyable. Secondly, having a couples channel is like having a lifelong school project oh partner. God, you could tell she's filtering because some of the buildings don't look right because she filters so much. Except life is now the school and you are married to your project partner. We are both different people with different ideas having to put out one video. One project made with two minds. So you have to learn to compromise and talk ideas out and be willing to hear your partner's ideas. It takes a lot of cooperation and sometimes it can be frustrating when your two visions don't coincide. But with good communication, you can work it out. So lastly, it is possible to enjoy working. And in this case, that would be doing vlogs, of course. <laughs> so working and feeling like you are on a vacation is indeed possible. We thought it would feel tedious but we soon discovered that we could not have imagined being in Thailand and not sharing it in our vlogs. We actually love vlogging and making content. And the See, I did enjoy some of it, like seeing that place. Like I remember watching that vlog and I was like, this is nice. Like I, you know, I would love to be able to travel that, you know, for myself, you know, 
But you know, you, the thing is, I I watch travel vloggers, and the vi, you know, there's this one girl who I just started watching. I can't. Oh my god, I cannot remember her name. Okay, but if you Google it, you'll probably come up with it. But like, um, with her name, but she traveled to, like Afghanistan and you know and stuff like that, and um. Even came in, like, w made videos about coming in contact with, like, the Taliban and stuff like that. And, like, uh, she's, like, a world traveler. She's been doing it for, like, 10 years. And, um, like, she just talked about how, like, the perception of, like, what we think and how it's, like, in Afghanistan and stuff like that and is so much different from, like, what is different from what is what is like we perceive it to be okay and you know that, that's like the kind of you know, it just a me i can't even explain it it's like the way she makes her videos and oh my god it's like amazing to me that she's able to travel to these places that are so stigmatized by society and like create a dialogue with people you wouldn't think you would even want to talk you know create a dialogue with it just amazes me and it's just the vibe that i get you know from channels like hers you know who are actual real like travelers and you know vloggers it's like the vibe is so much different it's like it's engaging it's like you want to watch these things you know you, you're, you're not getting the same vibe like with the Chantel, where it's like it's like this circus act, you know, it's like you're watching a, 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 a traveler take you on a journey, you know, and that's what I really love. Why I love watching videos, like, you know, vlog, you know, channels and vloggers like that, like that, because it's like with my health issues, like I, I'm not at a place in my life where I'd be able to travel right now financially and physically, but it's like, I get to live, I guess, like, live vicariously through these people, and I get to get a little glimpse into what they get to experience. And that's, that's, that's the same for a lot of people who watch and, can, you know, basically consume that kind of content. So it's like when I, when I watch Chantel, I don't get the same vibe. I'm not getting, you know, the I'm world traveler kind of thing. I'm getting, the, like, a ridiculous circus act and a facade. She may have gone to Thailand and shown us some things, but it's like, I wasn't, I'm not getting the same vibe from you. I'm more busy. I'm more like f focusing on watching a death fat try, you know, try to, you know, be this world traveler, you know, pretending to be fake, you know, pretending to be married to this, the, to a fake husband. Like, girl, content. This is not what it's, what is, this is not going to be what you think it's going to be. This is, uh, a ridiculousness, foolishness. And when you make vlogs, you have artistic license and it's an amazing feeling to express and share a vacation and another culture through your lenses. Not everyone can travel and not everyone wants to travel and that's okay. There are many things that a lot of you can do that I will never be able to. That's the beauty of sharing your experiences with vlogging. And we both realize- I do have no interest in getting better. That's what I'm saying. I, I understand, like, you know, these days it's getting a more com uh, there are more accommodations opening up for bigger people to be able to travel. Because, you know, that is a saying, you know, us traveling on a plane and stuff like that and the cost of getting another seat and just the stigma of it all. Okay, it sucks. And it's like, but at the same time, it's like, there is a solution. You just, you know, lose weight, you know improve yourself so you have the ability to travel and to really experience and enjoy traveling instead of having to worry oh my god if i travel am i going to be able to fit in this am i going to be able to do that because of my size i would i want to travel as a person who is not going to be limited by my size you know what i mean but at the same time it's like i don't have a problem with traveling at my size i just right now financially I do not have the ability to do so. My main goal is finding a job and getting settled in a in a place that I can afford. Okay. Like 
those are my goals right now. Like, but at some point when I'm settled and, you know, when I'm more in a stable position in my life, I would love to travel. How much passion we do have to continue to make content and ensure at some point in my life, I would love to actually become a travel, do travel vlogs. That's something that like I really kind of a long term like goal as a as a a YouTuber. You know what I mean? I've been considering starting vlogs, you know, now and kind of building another channel just vlogs, but I'm not sure whether I'd be up to that. I don't know. I'd rather just do, if I would do vlogs, I'd rather just post vlogs of if I'm going somewhere and doing something, you know what I mean? Like, instead of just like daily, like nonsensical vlogs. Inshallah, better content, more meaningful content. So guys, I thank you once again for listening to us. We cannot wait to see you in May. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the first video of season three. Until then, we wish you well. Take care and see you soon. That was ridiculous. That was, this is ridiculous. Just repurpose content, okay? Try to make more money off of, like, we know what's going to happen. We know she's not going to be in the far box in the sky a majority of the time because she's too fat to travel. She's too, uh, she's, girl, you do not literally have your health is not where it should be. Like, nowhere where it should be. You don't have the ability to be this world traveler. It takes you have to be in good health. You know what I mean? Jesus, like I can't. But anyways, um, let's move on to the actual like the next video. Okay, which is on Booty Bee's channel. guys today we are going to enjoy some nature at the upper canada migratory bird sanctuary campground in ingleside ontario so yella let's go enjoy some nature and see what we can find on this beautiful spring day in canada welcome welcome there's a deer wow wow hi Aww. i get we get a lot of that like you know de ba like deer families in my area so like Oh my god, I've seen like a like a whole I've seen the I've seen the female, I've seen the babies. Oh my god, there's this one time when we were driving and I we were, we were driving so fast I couldn't really get good footage, but it was like a whole family of deer. It's like it is honestly nature fascinates me. It's like sometimes I feel like we get so consumed in our daily lives that we forget that we are surrounded by by nature, by like by this beauty. You know what I mean? Like it's like sometimes it's it's good to come to to these to a park and to these places and just enjoy nature and remember that we are sharing our existence with these amazing creatures. Oh my goodness! Hi. <laughs> but like, get away from me, fatty. <laughs> There's many different walking trails here. Um, I would love to come here, like seriously. Get my bike, whatever. Oh my god. Or even my walker, I, I would do it, like seriously. And my dog as well. My dog would love this. Great place to come just for a walk. It's nature. You know, I've lived here my whole life and never realized how gorgeous the nature is. Like, it's like I'm seeing it all for the first time or something. No, it's it's really beautiful, you know? I'm really enjoying myself alone out here. Honestly, I love it. You're sitting in the car. You're not out there enjoying it. Like, what the fuck? Get out. Move around and enjoy nature. Like, what are you doing? Yep. It's gorgeous. And you know what? It's cliche, but life is so much more fulfilling when you appreciate the really small things like that. I know, I need a man not wrong about that it is i mean see here's the thing i grew up camping with my family 
different parks and stuff like this. So I grew up at a very young age learning to appreciate this stuff. And that's why for me, it's like I would rather live in, in a more rural area than the city because I'm more comfortable. So the city gives me anxiety. I like being able to be close to like shopping areas because, you know, gas. But then at the same time, I'm just like, I don't want to be all around all that mess. So I'm kind of in right now in like an in-between place. Like I'm close to shopping areas, but I'm also in a rural area, you know, to the point where we get deer. We've had deer come into our yard. Surprisingly enough, I don't know how they, they get over, but they get over. Um, I've had a bob, we've had a resident bobcat. Okay, bunnies, all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I would love to live more just in a really rural area. Like, like just more remote. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but it's just like, that's just my preference. Manicure bad. Look at this. Ew. I would willingly, like, I would willingly do so, even though it costs, you know, gas money, you know, to get to places, because I just enjoy the quiet. I enjoy just being in nature rather than being in a city. I'm going to get my nails manicured, but uh, no color. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to wear, I'm just going to get, like, the cuticles removed, nails trimmed, stuff like that, cleaned up. Nice and clean. <laughs> Okay, now she's out. All right, now to go over here. <laughs> but there's one thing that I miss, you know, is being able to walk long distances. As a big person, you lose that. And I used to walk long distances all the time. Like, seriously, like, half of my childhood was, you know, walking to places, you know what I mean? Like, the the local kind of, like, sh diner slash, like, ice cream shop where you used to have root beer floats. I mean, I'd have to walk along and ride my bike a long distance to be able to get there. You know, it's just like, I grew up doing that, you know, just walking and, bi you know, biking, doing a lot of physical activity. So it's like, one, I just really do miss it. And so, like, that's one thing that I want to get back to, is being able to go to a park on a trailer, go hiking, and not worry about literally having a fucking heart attack. <laughs> just walking to a bench, you know what I mean? Like, it sucks. It sucks being fat. And the fact that Chantel talks about enjoying nature and, and you know, really appreciating the small things, you would think that she would apply the same mindset to her health. Because, girl, you're not going to be able to enjoy these things, really, if you don't get your health in check. she's coming around here when it's like dead See, if she were to actually stay in canada she'd be able to do more of these videos during a time where it's like spring it's really spring and you get to see the flowers and stuff it's like ugh. see i live close to a, a, a like a, a they call it a lake but you can't swim in it or anything like that but it's like there's a trail and there's a lake whatever it, unfortunately in the summertime there's a bunch of mosquitoes but like they do have like a big, like a, they spray it, whatever, you know, to make sure so people don't get like bit, like eaten to death. But you can fish and stuff like that in this area. Like, but it's like literally across the street, you know. 
um, but in the summer and spring, it is so ab and gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. You know, I was just thinking, like, it's windbreaker season, but, like, is it just me or I remember windbreakers, like, making the wind colder against your body because, like, they kind of stick to your body when the wind hits them. I don't know. Anyone else? Crickets? No? Okay. <sighs> Ooh. I'm loving this day. Another nice pond here. Birdhouses everywhere. You know, it's the wrong time of the year. This trail goes in like a circle. Back to my car. <laughs> there was nobody. That, the reason why there's nobody there is it's the wrong time of the year. It's a big nature reserve. And there's the St. Lawrence River, I believe. <laughs> I remember there being rumors as kids that there's bodies in the river. Surely there are. But who knows? Kind of morbid. <laughs> Nice birdhouse. I'm gonna take another break in memory of. Ah. Then last step, we'll be back to the car. And I have, actually I have an appointment <laughs> at 2.30, so yeah. I know no one else understands my journey. A few of you do, but, or maybe those who do don't really say much. <laughs> what journey the journey would imply that you're doing something you're not doing anything what are you actually doing that implies the journey you're not losing weight you're just going back to kuwait to binge in your fart box that's it you're not doing anything to help yourself these therapy sessions i don't believe they're actually therapy sessions you're not i how i don't get it just, I don't get it. I don't get it. But that's okay. You don't have to. You cannot afford healthcare in Kuwait. My life to live, you know? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for being here. You're making the choices, Chantal. You're making the choice to live this life. Nobody is forcing this life upon you. Little birdhouses around here. Where are the birds? They're more for like bird watchers, you know, hardcore bird watchers. But I think it's the wrong time of year. This is my humble opinion, but like, I'm not like a, a bird watcher enthusiast or whatever. So I wouldn't know what's the best time of year, but it's like, this place is dead. Like there's nobody around here. And I'm thinking because it's the wrong time of year. This is closed, but <laughs> weird taxidermy things going on here. <laughs> Probably the weekend as well, why it's closed. And it's probably the wrong time of year. That's why some of the times these places close up for a certain part of the year, and then they open up when it's like the, the prime time, whatever, like a year to, to be, like, you know where people come so it's like this is the wrong place it's it's just you, i don't know you're not really showing it in the and it's you know and it's when it's the prime to come to a place like if, if i were to go right now to like the the um conservatory in my city it wouldn't be the right time of year you know like, it'd be better, like, if I go, like, around next month, you know? And start going to places like that, and, and like, in, in May, then um, do it now. Because right now, like, we just, like, had snow. Oddly enough, I have all my units in, so it's like... <laughs> it's like, oh my god, I was, like, worrying that it was gonna... Well, it's gonna get hot again, it's gonna get in the upper 80s by the end of the month. But like, um, still. Bird observations. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to another vlog. I'm here at the bird sanctuary uh, in Angleside, Ontario. So 
yeah, I saw some cute deer already. It was so nice and it's so peaceful out here. There's like no one around. So I'm just gonna see what I can see and do a bit of exercise. Yeah, look, different places you can look out here. Might be out of breath. What was that? Oh. Anyway. <laughs> no one out here so yeah i'll be out of breath because well i'm overweight and i have asthma so i feel like i can smell her breath like smell her from here i don't know it's a weird yes kind of windy though chilly hello geese a lot of geese this time of year <laughs> Hello, chipmunk. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom in more. Oh, that's terrible quality. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm just having a sit down here just to soak up a bit of sunshine, vitamin D, and yeah, there's all geese around. So I'm just hanging out with the geese. <laughs> and it's really gorgeous. It's, it's a really gorgeous day. Like the sky's blue. You know, there's no rain, it's not too hot, which is how I like it. So, yeah, but it's a bit cool. So, I guess I'm kind of, like, surprised how quickly you can lose your stamina for um, exercise. And... You can tell she, that she has barely ever exercised in her life. Of course, Chantal. But see, it's repetition that... You know, I just, um, yeah, I'm just like not in the best of shape. <laughs> and especially just today, I'm feeling, um, you know, just a bit tired and um, like I can't walk too, too much. So I am just going to enjoy nature and do a little bit as I can and, you know, just take it day by day. Beyond that, try to walk a little bit every day. But I definitely want to bring up my stamina for um, exercise. It really bothers me that I can't walk very far without being uncomfortable. And I know there's a great deal of discomfort I'm going to be going through for the next while, so I'm bracing myself for that. But even if it is uncomfortable getting out here, it is important for me to bring my physical, you know, my um, physical abil abilities out of the trash that they're in right now. Seriously, you know, and I realize also that means eating healthy. So that's something else that I'm going to continue to uh, try and really um, just eat healthier and a lot less a lot less so we'll see how that how this journey goes again <laughs> but um hi <laughs> oh my gosh i'm like so white hi you're going back to kuwait the, the heat is going to suffocate you how are you going to improve your stamina in kuwait Unless you go to a gym or something, like, I don't know, girl, you know, whatever. You, whatever. I am so done with this bullshit. I really am. You make promises that you know you're not going to be able to keep. You have shown no interest whatsoever in improving yourself. This is all just for the, you know, for the viewers, right? I'm going to make this false promises, you know, Get people coming back to think that you're going to be on this journey when you really have no interest in going on an actual journey. So the journey would imply you're acting like you're already on it. It's like it would imply that you'd actually be doing something. All you're doing right now is walking around a park and making false promises. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> this bird comes to me when I call it. Hello. Oh my god! Okay, it is so worth it to come out here and just spend some time. There's so much nature and animals. That's so cute. I was going like, and this, these birds just kept coming to me. I'm Snow White. I know it. I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys! Wow. Like, does anyone know what kind of birds up. they are? They're really small. So, so you know, they're just really small. Anyways, guys, thank you for listening to me talk. Um. Just in a very like thoughtful mood today so and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one bye Hi.
Oh my god. That was insufferable. What is this? Turtle crossing. All right, let's move on to the next one, you guys. All right, last video. content. Welcome back to another Canada vlog. So I'm here picking up uh, my aunt so that we can have a day together. Um, we're gonna go have lunch and do some errands, some shopping, and then I have a therapy appointment in the afternoon. So yeah, it's gonna be a full day for me. It is quite rainy, which is kind of disappointing because we wanted to go on a nature walk. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But anyways, um, yeah, so come along with me again today in this vlog. Why choose to go on a nature walk if you know it's gonna rain? Like seriously, is it, you can check check the the weather on the. Oh my God, this girl! This, this woman is so. Let's go, Yella. So, another birthday gift. I got a pink yeti. So yeah. Okay, the one dissing people who have yetis and Stanley cups. Like I'm not, I'm I'm not really into that whole sort of thing. But then again, it's like. If someone were to gift me one, whatever, you know, you know what I mean? Like, then again, I have a lot of tumblers, so I think maybe I am a little bit into it. I don't know. I'm like, I'm not like into the hype. You know what I mean? Of, you know, the Stanley Cup and the Yeti and stuff like that. And the, it's just, a uh, tumbler is a tumbler. I, I, I care more about, the ability to able to keep my my drink cold for the longest period of time. Yeah, because I like Yeti and I used to have a blue one that was a gift also <laughs> from a Beezer. And uh, yeah, I love this color. So it keeps my water cold when I'm out driving around the whole time. By the way, I can easily get an international driver's license or driver's license over there in Kuwait, but it's not the same as driving here. So um, no, I don't really enjoy driving over there, you know, so um, I'm going to be a passenger princess when I'm there. So yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. I don't even know how. I... She really is insufferable. She really is. So we are eating at a vegetarian restaurant today. It is actually quite a delicious place. I've eaten here before. Here's a glimpse at their menu or part of it. They give you a pitcher of nice cold water to drink while you are there. So my aunt wanted to show that she had the soup of the day, which was tomato and lentil, and she had a falafel sandwich on gluten-free bread. She loves it. And I had a pad thai, though it's not like traditional pad thai, but it's like noodles with like a peanut kind of sauce with vegetables. It was actually- The pad thai does not look bad. Oh my God, I would devour that. I'm not gonna lie, I would. Actually really good. I thought this display at the tattoo place next door, really cool. All right, time for my therapy appointment. I'm just waiting in the waiting room now. Way to dock the place, Chantel. I mean, I know it's just like a, a wall, but seriously, any you know, somebody could go online, research that, find the place just based on that picture on the little clip you just showed us. <laughs> hey guys, so I just finished at my therapy session. Um, now, granted, when I made the appointment, I told them I was planning on 
making this an ongoing effort to address my mental health, you know, because I was planning on staying here. So then the main focus of this <clears throat> session, and, and the therapist was very on point, you know, just by little things I would tell her about my story, like a recent story, sort of the past few years, she talked about grief, you know, grieving things that I still haven't really grieved. You know, parts of me who I was, not necessarily a bad thing grieving, but sometimes when there's change, whether it's good or bad, you grieve parts of things that are changing. But it was nice to have my feelings validated, especially since I don't know anybody really who understands me wanting to go back to Kuwait. But this therapist did. And she gave me a lot of reasons why. Because you probably gave her a bullshit story. You probably gave them, sorry, a bullshit story. A narrative. narrative. You probably did not give them the truth, Chantel. So, of course, they're going to agree with you. See, you are very good at manipulating. You manipulate people. So, you're going to spin a narrative and manipulate the therapist into thinking you're this type kind of person when really it's, I mean, there's an opposite. I mean, you know, whatever. One therapy appointment is not going to change anything, Chantel. The, the first therapy appointment is like, get, you know, is like kind of like assessment. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. You, you allegedly came back to Canada for your health. And now, oh, I'm going back to Kuwait, but I'm, I have a therapy appointment. I'm going to therapy, you guys. I think she's doing it to get, get us off our back. You know, I went to therapy, you guys. So you can't judge me. Yeah, we can because you know what, Chantel, therapy. It's not a one and done deal. I wish it was, but it's not. That's something that takes time and patience. You know, commitment, repetition, all the qualities that you do not have. I, I would want to go back there based on what I told her, and my feelings were validated. And they also came up with a lot of resources for me to have access to healthcare. Of course, she va she validated because she realized that, you know, you're going back no matter what people say. And uh, she, the, the, they put proper like, you know what, she, there, there's no point in getting into, you know, getting into it with her because she's going to be in Kuwait. There's no way they're going to be able to treat her. So they're just going to give her resources to get her help in Kuwait. That's it. You just wasted their time, Chantel. Um, remotely. Um, there's some binge eating uh, program resources, addiction services, and the mental adult mental health program, which is like covered by OHIP. It's like a year and a half wait. So for like one-on-one -on -one counseling. So we'll just see. Um, I have some resources. They also suggested help me pick out resources in Kuwait. So the focus is to also have access to some resources there, which there are community centers, but they're Islamic, you know? So they made a good point that a lot of it's probably gonna be through a religious perspective, which makes sense. And, you know, being a revert, you know, they suggested finding other revert expat groups that might be support. So they also started, I told them, you know, socializing. I isolate a lot because socializing, getting out there is kind of overwhelming when I'm feeling, you know, down. So they suggested just going out in public without socializing. So just going out more. So there's things I have that I have to work on, but I feel more confident having gone through this session. It's definitely not a waste of time. And they're one phone call away if I ever need another one whenever I need it. So yeah, that's my therapy update. Yeah, but that if you ever need it, you're going to be in Kuwait. How are you going to have a session? So you'd have to fly back just to have the session unless they agree to do an online session. It's better help like in Canada as well because it's in, in the US. So I'm thinking, you know, because that's something that I'm looking into is better help because I'm not having any luck with my insurance company because there's not really a lot of places out there that are covered under my insurance, believe it or not. Yeah, mental health care, mental health over here care sucks, like in the US. Um, there need to be more places. They need to reopen up some of these mental hospitals. Because let me tell you, when I was sent to a facility, didn't get a lot of help. You know, they, these people were not only working at that facility, but they had they were working at multiple facilities. So they could only 
spend a certain amount of time there at that facility. And then on top of it, they were also treating their levels that, you know, you, you stayed, I, I was in the lowest level, but there are upper levels that had more aggressive patients. So they obviously spent more time with more aggressive patients and people in the upper levels. So it's like, I don't know. I mean, Chantel, you're not, I just, I don't see her acting on the advice given, whatever advice given by this, this therapist. By actually going out there and talking to other reverts and, you know, get, you know, getting help in Kuwait. Because how is she going to do that? I mean, are, there, you know, there are, you know, in the Middle East, they do have like a Cleveland Clinic facility that she could possibly afford that it, it will go to, but then is it affordable? That's another thing. And then in Canada and Ontario, they, maybe Toronto, I'm not sure. I'll have to look again. They do have a Cleveland Clinic facility. But I think there's only specific things that they that they deal with. But it's like, girl, like, uh, what do you? It's I I I just think she's doing this. Sorry, I just think she's doing this just to get us off off her her back. It's actually super nice out here. It's rainy, gloomy, but I love it. I love getting fresh air. <sighs> Hey guys, so I am super excited. I'm waiting for the bus. I took a taxi. Oh, we really get, oh my God. Um, to this location, the easiest, fastest way. My, you know, the key is almost done for, so. I'm sorry, hold on. This carry-on bag. I'm just gonna do I'm this here. because we've seen Let's this before. Let's water and a mango. All way at the back. No, I am not doing this. that throwback in there just to get to that 10 minute mark so she could get the the the, uh, the mid rolls like seriously girl you're in canada visiting there's there's so if you could if you really were smart you would really find ways to make good content but you're really just you're this is a really shitty trip <laughs> like i'm not enjoying this whatsoever but anyways um that is it for today's video and i will see you guys in the next one toodaloo my loves <laughs>